Well, good morning, everyone. Well, I got a little too tired last night. By the time my second video finished uploading, I was too tired to open the third one. And, and so I'm here this morning to share with you the third entry that I got yesterday in the mail. And this entry is from Deborah Hoke. And... It says, do not bend. Can't wait to see what she's made here. We have a little card. Oh, isn't that cute? Well, thank you, Deb. Um, I'm I'm sure that it's going to be fine. I mean, I I am very versatile. I have certain things that I really I forgot to show them by the card. Uh, certain styles and colors that I really like, but I also am very versatile and like other things as well. I just like pretty things. love the colors. Nothing wrong with the colors. They're very small. Very nice. So first we have her IC. One of a kind. Oh, fantastic. Isn't that nice? I like it. Let's see, her birthday is in January. Her favorite colors are turquoise, pink, silver, black, red, and teal. And her craft style, I guess my own. I can't classify it yet. Well, that's probably true with a lot of people. And uh, her YouTube channel is Deb Hulk. And then she's got in parentheses, Deb Dahlia Designs. Her favorite stores are the, uh, the normal Joann's, Tuesday Morning, Michael's, A.C. Moore, Hobby Lobby, and Dollar Tree. Now, I never thought of A.C. Moore as a, a craft store, but I guess, uh, to me, it's a, it's a paint store, right? But you could get the paint chips, and and I guess you could probably get a lot of crafty things that we use. Her interests are jewelry making, flowers, buttons, autumn, ATG, ATCs, pocket letters, and ICs. Well, thank you very much, Deb, for giving this to me. And... Uh, very happy to know you and get to know you better. And look at this beautiful Halloween wand. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's the back. She's used some of the like netting type ribbon. It's pretty. And she's put a a doily or material, maybe just material strips behind the uh, um, and then she's used looks like a, a cupcake cup on the back and a very glittery pumpkin and, and leaves. That's very pretty. Very nice for fall. 
and it will be displayed proudly during this month, this time of the year. And, oh, look at this lovely tag. Oh, I don't know why you didn't think I'd like these. These are lovely. And then on the back. Mm. I definitely like, love them, like them very much. And here's another tag. Just as cute. Crunching, crinkling autumn leaves, spiraling, swirling in the breeze. That's a nice saying. Isn't that cute? I'll hang those up with my tags. Oh, and then she made me a pocket letter. Very fall, very pretty. All goes to goes together so nicely, and the goodies. Look at these; they're they're fabric. I've never seen stickers like that. Those are so pretty. And there's some apples in here, and a few more of the pumpkins. Well. It's not going to cooperate with me like this. Okay, here we have. This is a little uh, hair clip. A bobby pin. Now what they, they're called. That's cute. The leaf on it. So anyway, she sent me some, some very pretty washies. Um, fall designs. And now, I'm going to get to these. Well, these are buttons. There's a couple of pumpkins and a couple of leaf swirls. Oh, those are so cute. I need to go look at button selections again. I haven't done that for a while. And I'm afraid there's a lot out there that uh, this this little squirrel up here and the, the fox down here, they're made of felt and they are just adorable. A little bling here. There's the, there's the apples and the pumpkins. And a bunch of little little cutouts here. Just little tiny things. <laughs> See how tiny those are? Aren't those cute? I won't take them all out because the way my hands are feeling this morning, I'll just fumble and drop them. And then we have some some sequins down here, and what's behind it? Oh, a couple of uh, like uh, jam jar labels, I think they are. Aren't those cute? They're oval in shape. Uh, with the the print on the bottom, so I, I think they're they're what's called the jam jars uh, labels. Oh, I used to make jam every year. Oh, I loved making my own homemade jam and jellies and and uh, canned fruits. And then she's got this lovely shaker in the middle. And look at her little little tag. Isn't that cute?
Well, thank you, Deb. I, I like I said, I don't know why you didn't think I would like it. Um, I love the colors. I love the blends. Everything just is so well fit. Uh, just, you know, it, like the way it was meant to be. And it's just all so lovely. So thank you very much. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting to know you better and, and uh, doing some swaps with you, I hope, someday soon. And, or some happy mail. My pen. My pen go. My desk is such a mess right now. I've been working on a uh, Christmas album, and I think I'm almost finished. I think I'm going to finish it up today, and then I can clean my desk again. Okay, she did do a VR, so she got a point for that, and she did the IC, so she got a point for that. She made two lovely tags, and let's see, the tags were... Uh, two points for each of those, so she got four points for tags. And she made the beautiful wand, and the wand is two points. And the pocket letter and the pocket letter is two points so you got four six eight nine ten points so thank you so much and please don't don't think that I only like what I say are my favorites. I, I just wanted to share with everybody. Um, so I have 18 entries so far. We're getting close to the end. And as far as I know, the people who have contacted me, I think I only have a possible few more coming. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe five more coming at the most. And I've started putting the numbers. Now, I didn't want to have to sit there and write out everybody's name 20 times or however many points they had, but I just used the number uh, that I assigned to their name when it came in and I wrote that number down as many times as they had points um, so for instance with Kathy Randall she had 12 points so she's got 12 little pieces of paper in here and Debbie has 10 points she will have 10 pieces of paper in here now this isn't all of them I'm only about halfway through the list I just started doing this but I thought, well, I better get started on it uh, so that it's all done. And when it's complete, then uh, when the, the challenge is over with, then I'll have probably my son draw a number out of here for me so that we can pick the winner. And uh, I, I think I have decided that the gift is going to be the Tussie Mussie uh, filled with goodies. Not necessarily homemade goodies, but things that I have uh, that I can share and, uh, and whatever else will fit in the box. Uh, I, I'm not sure what size box. This is going to have to be a, a probably a large uh, flat rate box uh, so whatever I can fit in the flat rate box and uh, stuff will be the the prize for the the giveaway so
so that's it for today the mail hasn't come yet today um, see if I get any more and everybody have a very crafty happy day and we will be see you back soon bye